Hello everyone, welcome to another Kaisley tutorial. Let's um make chromatics. So here is my method on making chromatics, where we basically use Kurovi and all that fun stuff. I'm gonna put a link to Kurovi in the description and I'll show you how to install plugins in another video, but you should probably know how to do it. If you just go to options, file settings, and just Sorry. Options, manage plugins, and uh, just press find installed plugins once you got it. And then press the star icon to make it show up whenever you want to use it as a plugin. So I'm going to teach you how to make this. But notice how it's kind of like a mess? This is what um, it looks like. This is the melody. I'm going to delete it from the MIDI out and put it into the three scale oscillator. And let's remove this and... This is the melody. And let's open up my chromatic which plays this. But then, if we put it into the MIDI out, it will link to the Devon chromatic and make it play this. Okay, so here's how we do it. Let's remove everything. Actually, I'll start a new project. Here we go. Here's our new FL Studio project. And let's add Slice X. So what you're going to need to do is record samples. Like A E I O U, but do not like turn them into chromatic. Instead, uh, just throw them in here, like to slice X, and disable auto dump, and just slice dull auto slice. Then right click this little icon, and now it's all equal in volume, and now we have this. So yeah, that sounds like that. Now what we're gonna do is press this little button here. And this is all just, right now I'm just working on making the chromatic sound good. And this is um, what we're doing. So then it I snaps uh, at the very end. So it doesn't play this. It doesn't like play this. Instead it does this. I it stops instantly. So what we're going to do is open a new f channel. Let's set it to like insert one. Now right click. And... Uh, Sorry, you don't need a right click, but this is what I'm doing. It's my basic OTT stuff. And what we're going to do is add Kurovi the plugin. And let's set it as the first plugin so it doesn't affect any other thing. So make sure the settings all look like mine here. And make sure scale and MIDI are on, but not MIDI chord. If you turn on MIDI chord, it restrains like how high your pitch can go and tries to keep it only within t 12 notes, not how many you need. And now what we're going to do is make sure that's it and press this little button on top. If you don't see it, you just um, press this little gear and now click it. Now what we're going to do is change input port to zero. And now what we're going to do is press the plus button then scroll all the way to um, MIDI out. It should be in the MIDI channel. MIDI out, and then press port, and make sure it's zero. And once that is that, that means your chromatic is basically done. You could do it whatever you want. But if you want to hear it, if you want to hear the melody while you make it, you just add a three-scale oscillator. It doesn't have to be any specific, but let's just make a simple melody. Let's raise the BPM. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, here. And step. So we got that chromatic. So now we copy this or control A and then control exit. So then it will be cut. Now we put it into MIDI out. 
Now, you won't hear anything, but let's go to the Devon Chromatic, and let's make it save out. See, now it's on pitch. So now, basically, this gives us more manual, like, ability to manipulate what we want our character to say on that note. And let's change the MIDI out to, like, an octave lower. So, like this. See? Now it's epic. That's pretty fire. Now, there is a way to do it if you have the, like, paid version of FL Studio. I mean, I have the paid version, but, like, the super paid version where you buy all the plugins. But if you buy all the plugins, you can open up Pitcher. And you can turn on MIDI and octaves, then press format, and then change the input port number to be zero. And that'll be the same thing, basically. Let's turn it off and... But, like, let's lower the octave, okay. Yeah, but in this case, Kurovi works better with me because it actually is what the FNF people use to make BF. And FNF in general. And it sounds good. But that's basically the tutorial today. Uh, hope you have a great day. And uh, subscribe, like the video. And see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye!